Hi, this is Jay Prakash, and uh, this is part of the text mining uh, playlist. And uh, this is going to be the continuation of the uh, previous uh, text extraction from the web scrapping technique uh, we have performed in the previous video. And uh, for my text mining, usually I was using NLTK in my various, uh, you know, in my various projects. But after looking into Spacey. I have really fallen in love with uh, Spacey and hope my wife uh, don't hear this. But uh, so what are all the real advantages I have uh, uh, read about Spacey? Well, Spacey has a better implementation and also provides better performance. It uh, handles all the text and documents as packets or objects to be very specific. NLTK, on the other hand, it treats each text as a group of strings. So fundamentally handling as an object, which is kind of more of a uh, a better way of talking to a machine than treating uh, uh, it as a kind of a group of you know text or a string. And the second thing is NLTK does not have a support for word vectors, but Spacey has it. And also Spacey provides a better connectors for statistical models developed in other libraries such as Keras, PyTorch, etc. And uh, if you want to call any additional feature up as part of other libraries, we can call it through Spacey. And uh, so these are all the reasons I have really liked Spacey, especially for the performance reasons and also a lot of implementation wise, it's much easier to comparing with NLTK. And uh, we will perform some exercises with the Spacey with respect to the NLP. And uh, slowly uh, we will uh, get into NLTK and also I plan to do a video for uh, kind of comparing my Spacey versus NLTK2. So let's get started. So let's run the cell import spacey. We are importing spacey and we have to load the NL. I mean, we have to load the English model uh, as part of your spacey package and load it into a natural language processing variable. And this is needed for you to perform your next set of operations for your text mining. So let's run that. And uh, I have chosen a text from Wikipedia. Yes, I'm a big fan of Sachin Tendulkar. Yes, I'm a um, 90s kid, maybe even 80s kid. So I'm not a 2K kid. Uh, so it's quite a long text. And uh, since it is from Wikipedia, you could see all sort of uh, uh, text there. And uh, so the first thing what we have to do is we have to pass the entire text to the NLP function we created in the previous step. And uh, then when we, uh, so this is actually the prerequisite to perform all your NLP related operations. And let's run this and let's type the, let's print the type of the document. It is nothing but a spacey token stock. So the first, the first step, one of an important step in your NLP pipeline is, you know, getting the tokens. So in order to do your kind of you know, topic modeling or if you want to do some kind of text classification or to, in order to create your word vector, <clears throat> you have to create uh, create the tokens and, and also you, you, even if you want to do some kind of you know, pre-processing or even if you want to do some kind of, uh, uh, kind of a data profiling, you have to see the entire text into some tokens. And uh, later you could do some bigrams and trigrams kind of an exercise. But uh, the first thing what we have to do is try to get the tokens and j just do a profile. In order to print in a better way, I have appended into a list, I mean list of lists so that we can have a better uh, viewing experience. So you could see the tokens are getting, um, uh, getting printed. So each of the word as part of the entire text is going to be a token. So let's see how can we clean this. Uh, we can um, clean the data based on the based on your stop words. If you encounter any stop words, we can clean it. So I'm trying to print only the list of tokens, which is a stop word in a similar fashion, how I have done it. So you could see all your stop words. Your is, was, at, it, n, all these guys can be removed from the original text. And this is the way you can clean, right? One is your, your stop words and the other one is your punctuation. You don't want any of a punctuation or you, you don't want any of a stop word. 
only in that in, you know uh, from your original uh, you know text try to remove all your uh, stop words and punctuation and store in my document dot clean and try to print it now so you could see after removing your tokens and punctuation you could see um, kind of a better um, list of tokens but still you have additional junk values which we can uh, clean it in your pipeline and let's print before cleaning and after cleaning what is the what is the number of tokens so it is close to 15000 before and after cleaning it is 1000 you know 394 and lemmatization is something like uh, you you could see that um, lot of the uh, lot of the tokens called as leading and uh, you will have some kind of uh, uh, kind of a derived word of your original word so you, in order to get your uh, your tokens in its purest form we have to do lemmatization and lemmatization how to do that uh, token dot lemma underscore is the keyword as part of spacey so so after getting the lemmatized data you could see the data is lemmatized so this is it for the first uh, section you know part one of your spacey text mining and uh, see you soon with my next set of videos thank you